Hi guys, Steph here. So I am, I've been asked by quite a few people to show how I put my unmounted rubber stamps onto cling foam. So I'm using this Craft and Kimmy stamp here, Fanny, that I just showed in a haul. And when it comes like this with sentiments on it and stuff, I don't trim it out first. So as, as you can see, it's bare rubber. And if you're not mounting it, you can use double-sided tape and stick it on your block or the, um, I forget what it's called. It's a special stuff. It goes onto the block. It stays on that block forever. And then you just stick your stamps to it. But the block I put that on isn't very large, so. Anyway, so I leave it like this. And the foam I'm using today, normally I buy the gray foam, but I bought this um, Crafter's Companion black foam, which is thinner. So when you get it, one side's going to be super sticky, and one side, when you lift it up, is just going to be kind of shiny, not sticky at all. So when you lay it down to measure, you want to make sure you're laying it on the sticky side, but don't peel your paper up yet. So the sticky side's always going to be the side that has the Crafter's Companion written on there. And what I do is I just kind of lay it on there like this and make sure all my sides are covered. And then I take my Tim Holtz scissors and I just, hold on, trim around it like so, leaving all the papers on for now. Okay, so now you have the smaller piece. Now you're going to peel off the sticky side and careful because it really really sticky and then you're gonna lay down one end make sure I'm in frame you're gonna lay down one end carefully onto the foam and then you're gonna gently place it down so that it's nice and flat and even now as you can see when I cut it out it wasn't perfect but there's I, I didn't trim her out yet so there's plenty of room and as long as there's foam behind her and my sentiments, I'm good. So now, she's officially on foam mount. I find it easier to trim my foam mount when I peel off the back piece of tape as well. So now, she's on the foam mount. And to trim her out, first I'm just going to not so nicely cut out my sentiments. Because I'm going to trim them out better in a minute. Okay, <clears throat> now I had done a video on this a while back, but I will go over it quickly, zoom in a little. When you're trimming out your stamps, you want to make sure your scissors are straight up and down. When you normally cut, they're kind of tilted in or out. You want to make sure that they're straight up and down. So you don't want them like that or else it won't stamp evenly. Keep them straight up and down, get as close to it as you can, and just snip. I just go around my image. This is hard with a camera in my face. And I just kind of do little sections at a time. And you, I like to trim them out because I know some people say they don't trim them out. They don't have a problem with getting ink around it. I am such an inkaholic that I end up getting ink on all these parts. And when I stamp it, I get all that ink around it. So I trim nice and close. Don't be scared. You know, if you're a little scared go a little bit further than I am and just do little sections and it doesn't have to be like perfect as long as you're cutting straight up and down you're fine and if you're OCD like me you'll go back in later and get all those little tiny areas so do 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 Just getting that part there that wasn't even on the mount of home. And sorry, I'm trying to see around the camera here. And snip that off. And sometimes a curved area is a little harder. So just do little snips. And by her feet. And 
There you go. You can use it just like that if you want. And then for the sentiments, let me move these. I just simply, again, scissors straight up and down. I go close to my sentiment. Snip straight around. Voila. There's one sentiment and then the other one, same thing. And then I'll show you also, I've shown this before, how I get, because some of the time you'll end up cutting the foam and getting that super sticky stuff on your scissors. And I'll share again what I do with getting that off my scissors. Just in case anyone missed that video. So there's my sentiments and my stamp. Quick, easy peasy, no problemo. For getting the sticky gooeys off my scissors, I just used some rubbing alcohol from the dollar store anywhere. Put a little on this napkin here and rub the rubbing alcohol on my scissors really well. And there we go. Dry them off and no more stickies. Perfectly clean scissors. There we go. Now, yeah, perfectly clean. <laughs> so that's how I clean them off afterwards. So I hope that helped you guys. I showed mounting them on the mount on the cling foam and trimming them out. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Bye.